Good morning, welcome back to another video. If you haven't watched the day two, one, two and three, go back and watch the last video. But we are currently on the road, another three hour road trip, and we're just about to cross the border into New South Wales. The plan is we are heading to a free campsite just before Canberra, and then we're gonna drive an hour into Canberra, it's about a three hour drive to that, and then we're going to drive an hour into Canberra tomorrow and go explore Canberra, head over to Jervis Bay in the afternoon. And then, yeah, that's the plan for today and tomorrow. We have made it to our camp destination. We're going to have some dinner and then we're going to look and see if we're going to carry on for a bit. We've made quite a good time. It's 10 to 6 now. It stays light for quite a while. Australia has very late sunsets. So we're going to have some dinner, see what time it is. And then it might be worth just ploughing on another hour or so, find another campsite up close to Canberra. Saves the driving tomorrow. Means we've got more time to explore tomorrow. And yeah, we've got the time tonight, so... We'll see. Quite a nice campsite. I mean, it's just a rest area. It's a rest area with toilets. It's not really a campsite. It's just, yeah, just a rest area on the road. We've got some pasta salad. I got a chicken Caesar salad. Queen's got a Mediterranean salad. We've got a quiche. We've got some cheese and crackers. So that is dinner on the road this evening. I don't know if you can see it. I think the thousand odd kilometers it's taken its toll with the bugs on the front. It's pretty grim. Good morning, it is the next day and we are on our way to Canberra. So we've made it and we've parked up in a little woodland area at the top, it's like a little walk-in track. As I'm sure the car park said it was 2.3 meters tall and we're three meters in the camper so we wouldn't get in no doubt it'll probably not be the case but they're doing work over there and i think it's over there i think that's it yeah it's got to be that in the middle so yeah it's free you just have to book a ticket and select the time slot so we book 12. Just finished at the museum. It's quite a good museum actually. There's loads there, so it was free. So got us exploring Canberra a little bit. We're gonna go get some lunch and go to a cafe, but I won't show you that because that's boring. So I'll talk to you when we're back on the road to Jervis Bay probably. We've stopped to stretch our legs at Kajuana, I don't know how to say it, Falls, which I'm unsure if it's a waterfall or if it's just like a cliff face. Yeah, like if you fell, you'd be fudged. Wait, say that again. <laughs> so if you fell, you'd be fudged. I think it's just like a lookout point. It's 
called Tianjara Falls. Good morning, it's day six in the camper van and we are up early and we are heading to Jervis Bay, which is a little beach area. So not far from, well, I say not far from Sydney, it's quite far from Sydney. Then we're heading to Nantian Temple and then we're going to drive across the Sea Cliff Bridge which is apparently the second most famous bridge in New South Wales after the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's $13 for a 48 hour pass into Jervis Bay. We didn't realise that it was a paid thing but you can explore the whole of Jervis Bay for 48 hours. I'm not sure we're going to use all of that time. You're not allowed to camp though unless you book and we don't know how expensive it is. Um, but yeah, we're just on a walk around the botanical gardens at the moment. Then we're going to explore into the village and a few of the beaches and whatnot. And then head on off to Nantian Temple. We are at the Nan Tien Temple, which looks huge. I think it's free. It says it's not open Mondays, but obviously this is the only day we're passing through, so I don't know if certain parts of it aren't open. We'll go have a look and find out. Stopped at a place called Bald Hill when I drive through because we saw loads of paragliders. Look at them just swooping around. Look at that view. That was cool, loads of little gliders everywhere going off the top of the cliff and above the beach. Pretty exciting to see. We just came up the road and just saw loads of them gliding so we came and investigated, parked up and had a look. We have arrived at our campsite which is a paid one tonight and we're doing a paid one tomorrow because there is nothing around.